Hi, everybody. This is Rigby. Say hi, Rigby. Say hi. <laughs> um, today, I am going to do a little bit. My dreadlocks are a little bit out of control today, but I'm going to do a little video <laughs> about um, why I chose to get my to get dreadlocks. Um, because a lot of people ask me why, and is it hard to take care of, and, you know, blah, blah, blah. Lots of questions about my dreadlocks, so I'm going to answer. The baby's obsessed with his own face. I don't blame you. You're really cute. Um, so, I got dreadlocks because I had wanted them for a very long time, and uh, when we had our loss last year, when we... Um, lost our third baby, I was looking, <laughs> yeah. I was looking, I was pregnant again with Rigby. We had our loss and three months later I got pregnant with him and I needed, like I, I just needed a change and I didn't want to cut my hair because I had cut my hair so many times before. I've had every like uh. random shortcut you could have. I've had micro bangs and I've had a pixie cut, and but I wanted to do something different, and I'd wanted to do dreads for so long. So I decided to look online to see if I could find someone locally that I could pay to do it, a loctician. Um, so I look on Craigslist, and I find uh, Lil Hipster. I'm going to put the link to her uh, um, channel in, my, in the information box down there. Um, so I found Mandy, and I emailed back and forth with her and text back and forth with her. <laughs> I just can't get over how cute you are. And um, so I so I made the appointment with her, and it was, um, she was she was booked up. She was busy. So she the first appointment she had was like two or three weeks later. So I waited and waited and waited. I was so excited. I couldn't wait to do it. And then I met her, and she was amazing and wonderful. And she sat with me, and we had a dreadlock party at my house. And my best girlfriends came over and sat with me while I got my dreads done. But they they couldn't even stay because, um, like, they had, to, they had to go pick up their kids. Someone had to pick up my kid for me because I still was getting my dreadlocks done. And it ended up taking eight hours to get all of my head dreadlocked. But it was so worth it because Mandy does an amazing, amazing job. She knows exactly what she's doing, and she's she's a professional. She knows what she's doing. So that's why my dreadlocks look so excellent because I also have – Mandy comes back once a month to do maintenance on my dreadlocks so that they stay nice and tight and the new growth can get – you know, she just kind of crochets in all of the – you know, mine are actually shortening up because mine used to be longer, but they're finally like, you know, they compress and shorten up, but I hadn't seen that yet, and I'm starting to see it. Whoa. So that's why I got my dreadlocks. I had wanted to do it for a long time. We lost a baby. It was very traumatic for me, and I wanted a change, and I realized that you only have a certain amount of time in this life to do the kind of things you want to do, and that was always something I wanted to do, so I did it. And I love my dreadlocks. I don't think I'll ever get rid of them, to be honest with you. I think everyone says that once they first get them. But at some point, you get to a, you you want a, a change. Some people do. Some people don't. But I don't know that I'll ever get rid of them. I kind of want to be like a gray-haired lady, old lady with dreadlocks. So, um, upkeep of my dreadlocks. I wash them about every 7 to 10 days. Sometimes longer, sometimes shorter. It depends on if my, I know when my dreadlocks need, when my, it's not even my dreadlocks that need to be washed, it's my scalp. I know when I, I need to wash because my scalp gets really itchy and when it gets really itchy I know that it's time to wash them and usually that's about 10 days. Um, I didn't really wash my hair before I had dreadlocks very much, like it was probably every 7 to 10 days, so uh, that's, there's no real difference there. Um, as far as every day what I do with them, not much. I have a really, really awesome spray that I got from, um, oh my gosh, my brain. Did you see that? That's called mom brain. It's also called nursing a new baby brain. And the, all of a sudden your brain just goes dead. You'll just, you'll, I'll be in the middle of a conversation. Oh yeah, you know, that was so great. Remember when we, and it's like you just, your brain completely shuts off. Vital Goods. There we go. So I have this spray from Vital Goods called Trench, Drench Town Locks. And it's, um, mine has, it's, 
got like an ascent nag champa essential oil so it smells like nag champa which is uh, we love that smell and it's basically sea salt aloe vera and it's all natural everything in it is natural so what i do is every morning i get up and if we're going somewhere I will spray down my dreadlocks with my drenched town locks and then I kind of will palm roll a little bit just in case they're looking a little crazy, separate them, and usually I throw on a headband like this because, um, I don't know, I just always like, I, I always have a headband on. I've been taking the headband off a lot more because my dreadlocks are starting to really look good and they look great now. I don't really have to push them away. They, I, so I have been leaving um, the headband off, so it's just my dreadlocks. But if you can see, mine are really locking up really well. I have lots of loops. Lots of loops, especially at the root. I have tons of loops. See, there's a loop there. Um, so that's my everyday. Also, um, Vital Goods makes like a dread powder kind of stuff and I love it oh my god I love it I don't use it often though because it's it, it'll it creates a lot of residue so what I do is I use it I use it maybe once a week and then and put that in and it is crazy how much it tightens up my dreadlocks it makes them super tight super tight like crazy tight so if I have a lot of flyaways um, if I'm in between appointments, maintenance appointments with Mandy, I'll put the my dready powder in, and it really helps the roots to kind of you know dread into the the dreadlock. And so, how's it going, baby? So yes, so I'll, I, my daily thing: get up, toss in a little bit of the drenched town locks. You can also just do sea salt spray, which is initially what I started with. It was just sea salt and water. And I would use 100% aloe vera gel to palm roll. But I only did that in the very beginning. Um, I don't do that as much now. Now that they've locked up and um, it's been almost five months, I don't do that every day. I do try and do it whenever I can. When I was pregnant at night, oh, I would just sit there and palm roll because I had nothing to do. My other kid, my two boys would fall asleep. and But now I have a nursing baby who likes to nurse all the time. So it's really hard to sit there and palm roll because I usually don't have two hands. Um... But anyway, so that is how my dreadlocks came to be, and that is how I take care of them, care of them daily. I wash with, um, where did I get my dreadlock, my bar? Oh, Vital Goods, again. Um, Vital Goods has a, a bar, a shampoo bar that I use sometimes, and I just got the Vital Goods, like, um, what do they call that? black soap, black neem oil, black something. Anyway, their shampoo that is actually like a liquid and I'm it's different because it's very very it's it's not like shampoo texture. It's very watery. So that's going to take me some getting used to. I I personally I really just like the shampoo bar. I pr I'm probably going to end up just sticking with that. Um, there's also the, I, I started out using baking soda and apple cider vinegar. It did not work well for me. I wanted it to, it did not work well for me. The shampoo bar works well for me. So it's all about kind of your hair, what kind of hair you have, what works best. There's a baby. And that's how I wash with the shampoo bar. There's all sorts of shampoo out there you can use. Lots of people use Dr. Bronner's. Other people do the no poo method. Um, I'm a huge fan of Vital Goods. Love their stuff. It's fantastic stuff. And that's it. Mandy comes once a month. She crochets in all the flyaways. And that's basically it. That's all the upkeep. I'm, I'm noticing now, though, that they're getting heavier. Like when I'm done with a shower or bath, and or after a wash, actually, once after I wash my dreadlocks, they're incredibly heavy, which I love it. I think it, it just it, it makes me feel like they're you know they're maturing. They're getting to be more mature dreadlocks. Um, so that's it. That's my dreadlock video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any other questions about my dreadlocks, let me know in the comments, and I will. Leave Mandy's information down below so you can find her. Uh, yeah, and that's it. Say bye. <laughs> bye, everybody. Have a great day.